San Diegans are amped up about skyrocketing energy bills from SDG&E. Good evening, I'm Jesse Pagan in for Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. The rates are set by the California Public Utilities Commission. CBS 8's David Gonferson takes a closer look at the board members who approved rate increases in San Diego. They're located in Northern California. They're appointed by the governor and they're heavily influenced by the utilities. Former San Diego City Attorney Mike Aguirre is familiar with the California Public Utilities Commission. Most every member of the Public Utilities Commission, including the current president, uh, come out of the governor's office and have a background in politics. Four of the five current Public Utilities Commission board members were appointed by Governor Gavin Newsom. None of them live in San Diego, where SDG&E rates are the highest in the state. Our bills are basically set uh, in meetings that most uh, San Diegans have no real opportunity to influence uh, in San Francisco or in Sacramento. When Newsom was running for governor in 2018, records show SDG&E's parent company, Sempra Energy, donated more than $29,000 to his campaign. In November, Newsom appointed Alice Bushing Reynolds president of the Public Utilities Commission. The 55-year-old makes a base salary of $228,000 and lives in Sacramento, according to public records. Her email is on the screen and on the CBS 8 website. In December, Newsom appointed John Reynolds to the Public Utilities Commission board. The 38-year-old makes $174,000 in base salary and lives in Oakland. In February of last year, Newsom appointed Darcy Houck to the board. The 52-year-old lives in Davis, California and makes a base salary of $159,000. In 2019, Newsom appointed Genevieve Sharoma of Sacramento to the board. The 66-year-old makes $153,000 base salary. And finally, Governor Brown appointed Clifford Rechshaven to the board in 2017. The 64-year-old lives in Oakland, according to real estate records. Every three years, SDG&E presents its case for rate increases in a series of public hearings and the Public Utilities Commission votes on the proposed increases. The rates are going to wake up people, and I think there's going to be a backlash. A spokesperson for the California PUC did not respond to our request for comment, but we're going to keep asking questions because we know San Diegans are amped up about this issue. David, have we heard any explanation as to why utility bills from SDG&E have gone up so dramatically just since the beginning of the new year? Well, SDG&E says uh, electricity rates are up 7%, natural gas rates are up 24%, but a lot of San Diegans have seen their bills go up by a heck of a lot more than that. If you don't like it, you can file a complaint with SD SDG&E or you can email those California PUC commissioners directly. We're going to post their emails at cbs8.com. I think some email inboxes are about to fill up. David Gofferson reporting live. Thanks, David. And when it comes to these high bills, CBS 8 is as amped up as you are, and we're not going to let it go until we get some answers for you. You can also give feedback to SDG&E about the rate increase. Just text the word AMPED to 858-571-8888. It'll bring you straight to the form. You'll also receive our stories about these rate hikes.